Hi, this is Liz, and I'm going to show you today how to make custom uh, text effects uh, in iClone 6.0. Once you open iClone 6, you can see the iClone 6 stage here. Under the Content tab, go to what's called the Set tab. Looks like this little tree here, and click it. That will open up the set template, uh, props, and so forth. Let's close props. You'll find the logo options here under particle and text. So go to set. And once you're in the set template, go to particles. From particles, you can see text. And right here, you can see three different kinds of logos you can make. Essentially, what I'm going to go over, you can apply to all three of these logos uh, in different ways. So I'm just going to select this first one because I, I like it. So here we have selected the first one. Let me play the start button so you can see what it looks like. And you can see here's the logo. To change the word logo, go over here to the right under this modify panel. And under the Modify panel, if these aren't open and you can't see them, uh, go to Particle Settings. By the way, just so you know, after we're done creating the text, we can change the speed and the color of the text down here. Click on Logo, and down here, you can see this Open panel. Let's pull this open a little bit so we can see it better. So you can see Launch. Okay, and so I'm going to click Launch, and because I typically use Photoshop, uh, Photoshop launches for me, but you can link it to any of your image editing software. I'm just going to enlarge uh, this image for myself by clicking Control Plus in the uh, Windows. And the easiest way I've found, and I'm by no means an expert, I'm a beginner through all of this, what I've found uh, I do is I, uh, I click the arrow button. You can see over here I've got background. You could click that as well. I'm going to go up here to Edit, Fill, and I'm going to fill it with black because I want to get rid of that word first. Okay, so now the word logo is gone. I've tried this a couple of ways. I then added a text layer and put the text layer on top of here. And I played with it some, but it actually turned out I didn't need to do that. I just, for this example, could add the text right to the background. So I go here to the left and you can see the T for a text. I click it. And now you can see my text is black and that's not going to work very well on this black background although the color isn't set here for the logo. You'll see what I mean in a minute, but I do want to see it. So I'm going to click on the color. I'm going to open white, and now I have white. Now I'm just going to type my website's name, Games for Growth. I'm just going to uh, go G for G, Games for Growth. I'm going to highlight that because I want it bigger than that. I'm going to do whatever size you want, of course, and now you can see it's very large. I want to center that, so uh, you can see there's crosshairs for my little pointer, which means I can, by holding the right key down on my mouse, I can just move it. So I'm going to move it here in the middle, click apply, and there you have it. By the way, you can see here that it automatically added a text layer to my background, and that's it. So now I'll go up here to File, Save As, and I'm going to go to JPEG. And now one of the things I'd like you to notice is it automatically opens up in an iClone 6 temp folder. And so I'm, you'll see as soon as I change it to JPEG, you'll see the old one there. So you can see here is the old opacity map. So I'm not going to rename mine. I'm just going to use that name for G for G. And so I click that, save it. It's going to, uh, do I want to replace it? Yes, I do. It's not really a problem because as I mentioned, it's a temp folder. 
going to increase it to a maximum here, do whatever you like, of course, and click OK. All right, so let me minimize Photoshop and see what's happened over here in my iClone project. You can see that by the time I got over here, my opacity map had already changed to G4G. All right, my diffuse map, I didn't touch it. Let's, uh, let me play this now and see if it's different. Fantastic, you can see that uh, now it no longer says logo, but G for G. All right, let me stop it. By the way, you can move it, position it wherever you like. But let's say I didn't want green. I wanted a different series of colors. So just grab this uh, bar here on the right and uh, move down. By the way, the particle settings is uh, a very nice. There's a lot hidden down here, so make sure you scroll. You can see here's that green color. So I'm going to click on this first triangle and click on the color. You can see the first triangle, the green comes up. Well, let's say I wanted it red. Okay, so I've clicked red now. You can adjust the shade of red. You can also have custom colors. You can input the color you want by the HTML color. So you can do whatever you like. It's really amazingly flexible. You can, by the way, in adding custom colors, you can pick something up that you've already, say, for instance, your own logo color from your, your business or what have you. Let me go through and ah, you can see there are four of these here. And um, you can change each one. I'm just going to click through quickly. So uh, let's go to yellow. And um, that's kind of a mustardy yellow. Don't really care for that. And finally, let's see. Let me pick this pretty purple. OK. So now I've got this purple. Now let's see what has happened to our logo colors. So now you can see they have switched from green to the shades that I've wanted. You can also, by moving these, determine you know, how the, the rate of those are going to go. So, so let's say I've, I'm going to leave it like that for a moment and I'll see what happens. You can see how quickly one color is there longer than the other color. This is really pretty cool. Finally, and, and I'd really encourage you to explore these various settings, but you can uh, do these emit rates. The, uh, fallback is five. Let's just so you can see how fast this can, you can actually notice the difference. I'm just going to scale it up here to 50 and play it again. See how much faster it is. And so you could see where you might not just want to do this with words, but other effects. Finally, you can change the sizes, the directions, the emit volumes. You can do all of this by changing different the settings here in this toolbar. And by the way, before I log off, the, a similar way to adjust the text effect for these other two as well. It really has an immense amount of capacity in these toolbars, in these effect bars, to change and optimize the, the speed, the force, the spread. Everything's right here. All right. I hope you enjoyed that, and thanks for your comments.